You're watching WISC TV3 Madison, keeping you in touch with Wisconsin. Join Mark Kane, Beth Zerbakken, and meteorologist Janet Pyatt. This is Live at Five. Good afternoon. Welcome to Live at Five on this Tuesday, which I think is the nicest day in the history of the world. It was a gorgeous day. It's getting a little cloudy now, but well, still. Let's um. <laughs> <laughs> also known as the A-Team. Nothing's changed. <laughs> no. No, not at all. Back in, what was it? 19, 1986. 1986, Mark needed a co-anchor for what was then Live at Five. We did a nationwide talent search. Okay, maybe not, just <laughs> statewide. We eventually found a winner. I just found one. <laughs> a fresh face working in Wausau. She was hired, and Beth Zerbakken was part of the team. Verona Negan, back home. Hi, friend. It's great to have you. Hi, it's so good friend. to see you. 1986 to 1998. Yeah, 13 years. So what are you doing now? Um, I'm president and CEO of the Swiss Center of North America, which is based in New Glarus, but we work with the Swiss in Canada, the United States, and around the world. Zerbakken is a proud Swiss it heritage. It sure is, and I'm proud of it. And we've, we've Mike and I, my father visited. It's, it's impressive what you've done there. Yeah, it's, really um, I, if you're still going to do Traveler, come and do one with us, please. <laughs> well, it's impressive what you did here, because when you two were the Live at Five Anchor team, honestly, this was must-see TV. It was the golden the golden it age. It was the golden of age of local news. Yes. There's only yes. three stations. Yes. And we had this gigantic signal, so we overpowered the other stations, and, and we were so good together. We were good together. We had great staff. We were able to do the on locations, and, you know, sky was the limit. And that was just, it was fabulous time. How long, if you can remember, how long did it take to get the news out of you when you, when you switched jobs? Oh, my gosh. A couple of years, Mark? Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> how, how long did you do this, Beth? How long were you here? 23 years total. Well, in Wausau? But, yeah, and I started in La Crosse, where I went to college, and then the 13 years here. So what, it takes a while, Mark. What made you guys such a great team? You, you had such incredible chemistry on the air together. We became friends. We're virtually the same age. Mm -hmm. she, she, I'm older. Yeah, she's a week <laughs> older. I'm wiser. She's a week <laughs> older than I am. Well, it, it was just fun. Mm -hmm. And. I, I say it's the golden age of local television. Mm -hmm. they, they're printing money, I think. That's what we said. And yes. we spent a lot of it on the road, on our on-location shows. Yep. Let's take a look to, a look back. I don't know how we got away with some of this I stuff or how you <laughs> got away with some of this, but let's let's take a look. Join Mark Kane, Beth Zerbakken, and meteorologist Janet Pyatt. This is Live at Fun on Location. It is the first day of summer, and what better place to be than the Wisconsin Dells? And what better place to be than Tommy Bartlett's Ski, Sky, and Stage Show going on behind us? We are on location via New Star 3. Welcome to Branson, Missouri. We are on location at Marshall Fields on State Street in Chicago. That's right, we're on location today at the home of the Cowboys. Yes, this is dreaded Texas Stadium. We're on location today, live at 5, from the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. Day 3 is Celebrity Day as Live at 5 continues on location in New York City. Live, we're on location in Galena, Illinois. This old river town has a lot to offer. Today, we will take you inside the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and take you all around this beautiful city. Stay tuned as Live at 5 is on location via New Star 3. It's the NFL Players Party at Salon the Embarcadero in San Diego Harbor, and that's where we are today, Live at 5. We'll tell you what this event is all about, show you around the neighborhood, and we'll find out what some Packer fans are willing to do at 7.30 in the morning. It's simply amazing. We'll show you today as Live at 5 is on location from San Diego via New Star 3. It is Canton, Ohio's Football Hall of Fame. We'll show you all around today as Live at 5 is on location via New Star 3. Coming up tomorrow from New York. Hope to see you then. Have a good evening, everyone. Bye-bye. Wow, How many miles had did we some put adventures. On? I forgot some of those, Mark. Galena. <laughs> I uh, forgot Galena. <laughs> you know, you can't forget the Super Bowls and, you know, the Rose Bowls. New and York. New York and the, the interviews we did there and being, we were, I mean, uh, serious on the air, a little silly off air, and we were sometimes afraid to interview the people we were oh, interviewing. Yeah. <laughs> and Mark and Beth's home videos, remember those? Oh, gosh, yes. Those were fantastic. <laughs> 
And your David Letterman interview, we'll talk about that in just mm -hmm. a little bit. Okay, stay with us, right? You're yes. going to stay with us for another oh, second. Absolutely. We're not letting you go. <laughs> we'll be right back. Forty-six years of career well done, Mark, and now it's time to be adventurous in a retirement. And believe me, you're gonna love it. All the best to you. Thank you. Maybe you'll see Rob on the bike nice. trail. Go biking with Rob. Beth, longtime viewers remember your daughters. They grew yeah. up here at News Three. Where are they in their lives now? Well, my oldest is Emma, and she's in her 30s. She probably doesn't want me to say it, but she <laughs> thinks she's old. And she lives in Regina, Saskatchewan. Works at the university. Molly, who's 25, she won't mind me saying her her age. And she lives in Mesa, Arizona, and she is in costume design, which is her longtime dream. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations to both. Yeah. How is it possible she was this big last week? They were we. Yeah. Well, you know, your son is well. Same, same, <laughs> same thing. Are they single or? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, and Emma said to me, oh, Mom, you probably will never have grandchildren. I go, it's whatever, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you should see. You'll mm -hmm. wait and see. Exactly. What is your advice for Mark as he's about to start this new chapter? You know, Mark, it's, that's a tough one because um, now I'll start crying. It's, it's a place where we grew up. It's a place where you grew older, <laughs> as I had left, and it is in your heart. It, it is in your soul. This is it. This is a, I've, this is the, I've only done this. Yes, and and it's impossible to shut the light off. It'll be in your head. It'll be in your heart. You will know a thirty second, thirty second sound bite in your head. You will know that you should be on the air now, and it'll feel much. It'll be, it'd be difficult, yeah. I think. It was for me. I I'm, missed it I'm so not, much. I'm not looking forward to it, but such is life. And we, part of what makes it so hard is we had some special moments in here. <laughs> Let's roll that. We had a lot of fun. Buckeye okay, Chuck died two days ago. No one could find a live stand-in, so they found a stuffed critter from a local vet. And this is stiff. Chuck saw his shadow. <laughs> that wasn't. That's true. We're reading this on our computer and just dying. Poor Chuck died. <laughs> Passed away and they couldn't find a lie. So they stuff one from a bed. And our doctor on call has some tips that Mark and I are going to listen to to relieve the pain of sinus infection. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Uh, we'll see you at six. Thanks here, very much. Here I thought he was going to say hemorrhoid lynch. <laughs> <laughs> If it's not one thing, it's another. In our final touch today. Time to take a look at the news at 6, and Rob Doherty's in our newsroom. Rob Doherty? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Starbucks. I'm thinking of a guy I graduated from high school with. Who used to work uh, here? Yeah, who used to work here. Well, as we've already alluded, it is Beth's 30 something birthday. Now, what are you doing? 30 what? 34. 34. And you're, she's a little concerned, a little upset about getting older, but you shouldn't because we get better, we get more intelligent, we get we get better looking with age, this right? This is a surprise. I don't know. Yes. We get, right? We are. We are better as we get older. You think so? Yes. In fact, I know so. I have proof. Take a look at this. <laughs> what have you There's done There's another to chapter me? in the controversy over the future of Wisconsin's public defenders program. How many years ago was that? 40. I've been here four. I was in six. It's like 14 years that's, ago. That's, that's, that's 22 years ago, Beth. The most fantastic thing I've ever Seen. It's too big. I had no idea it was going to be that big. Fell <laughs> <laughs> earlier on segment three. This is not going to work. It's an inside it's joke. All right. We previewed these sporting events going on this weekend, but there are other things going on. <laughs> I'm sorry, too. Yes, there is. <sighs> the most oh. amazing thing I've ever seen <laughs> is your 47 years here at Channel yeah. 3, and you should be congratulated. Thank you very, mm -hmm. very much. It's going to be tough, but we can spend more time together. There and you, you know go. what? Do you do, you do you do coffee or alcohol? Yes. <laughs> 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 that's right in that order. All right, that sounds good to me. Because yeah. you'll have more time, and I suspect I will retire this year as well. And really? I'll be looking for um, that next chapter as well. Because it's like, how do you just stop? Right. I, I, right you know, I have nothing planned per se, but something will find me. And uh, mm -hmm. I have a couple of things, that, in the irons in the fire, so. It's just going to be an adjustment. The dogs are not going to know what to do. Oh, they're going to be nuts that you're home. Oh, they're going <laughs> to leave. <laughs> There you children, get the heck out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Thank you for coming out. It friend. was my pleasure. Beth, so I love wonderful it. to see you. See you. <laughs> All right. Be good. Good luck tomorrow. All right. You help okay. him through this, yeah, Susan. I'm going to. <laughs> I will. Final check of our forecast coming up.